now with the surprising message from the mom who shot this viral video. This video showed the woman apparently upset about sitting next to her toddler on a plane. ABC's Lindsay Davis is here. And Lindsay, the mom who posted this video is actually now coming to that woman's defense. Yes, that's right. Good morning to you, Michael. The mom who posted the video of the disgruntled passenger says she didn't mean for the video to go viral and wants the passenger to know she's sorry that it's come to this. She says she doesn't want her to lose her job, but she says she posted the video for young moms to see that people can't talk to them like this. He's not going to cry the whole time. It's the viral video viewed more than 2 million times on Facebook alone. Marissa Rundell, traveling with her two year old son, pulled out her phone to record this woman, Susan Perez, complaining about her seat assignment and giving the flight attendant a hard time. Thank you, Tabitha. Nine, seven, six, seven, seven. Thank you, Tabitha. You may not have a job tomorrow. I want this lady. No, I can't. I can't, Tom. I, I have to. I apologize. Please, no. Perez I apologize. is seen apologizing to the flight attendant, but she was eventually escorted off the plane. Delta told ABC News, we ask that customers embrace civility and respect one another while flying Delta. This customer's behavior toward a fellow customer was not in keeping with those standards. By the time the flight took off, Rundell had posted the video on Facebook. Reaction was swift. Perez's employer, the New York State Council on the Arts, launched an investigation and placed her on leave until further notice. I'm actually stunned that it has came that far. But this morning, Perez has an unlikely defender, the very mom who took the video. Rundell told ABC News she had no idea her profile was public and that so many people would see her post. I started recording mainly because I just kind of thought it was comical at how she was acting. She's now hoping that the woman won't lose her job. I don't think she really deserved that, honestly. People keep telling me, don't feel bad, don't feel bad, don't feel bad. She deserved it. But I honestly, I just don't think she did. And we reached out to the disgruntled passenger for comment, but did not hear back. But this is just one more lesson about the power of social media and something going viral. You can't control it and you cannot can't take, take it back. back. Yeah. Take it back. And, and traveling with kids is one of the most stressful things you could ever, ever do. I know, I know. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> exactly. And, and Linda, the woman who's being accused of, she's being accused of trying to use New York Governor Andrew Cuomo's name to get out of trouble. That's right. The mom says that the woman uh, who she posted the video about kept repeating, I work for the governor. And as of this morning, her photo and name has now been removed from the New York State Council on the Arts webpage, and a spokesperson for the agency tells ABC News state employees must be held to the highest standard, both professionally and personally. Wow. Doesn't Ooh, bode well. Try to drop the anything? governor's name. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that smacks him, do you know who I am? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <I'm> good. <laughs> Don't know who I think I am? Never works. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Thank Thanks, you. Lindsay. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.